Hello, this is Zerilius, um, playing a mobile app called Heaven Strike Rivals, made by Square Enix, and right now I'm gonna show you one of my squads, this is probably one of my favorite ones, I've had a lot of success with it, I'm mostly free to play, I've spent a little bit of money on this, but I don't go absolutely crazy, I basically try to earn the in-game premium items you know through the events and specials and missions that they have so I'm, I'm not crazy with units you have to purchase but I do have a few now basically how this squad is set up is centered around this unit uh, Raider Lane who can do mass damage to uh, up to three different units on the board and considering you can only have five on the board at a time you know that's pretty awesome and she's very chaotic into sister with that he keeps her healthy gives her extra health you know he kind of hits everybody on the board for mass damage if you can keep him alive and keep him getting hit uh who else? These two units right here, they just kind of come out and do random damage to people, you know, or directed damage, I should say. I won't say random. Uh, it's directed because I can choose where or kind of pick what target I want. Like this unit right here picks, hits the per unit with a high HP for five. And this one right here does four to everybody in the same lane. You know, over here, you know, basically same. Uh, got a couple of defenders in there, you know, to give Lynn protection. Or if I'm switching roles and want to use her, they're both the same class, but I kind of use them uh, differently. Uh of her skill it gives her allows her to attack twice in a turn and and you know I might save my buffs for for her instead of when you know um basically outside of her and her every unit in here is just to support those two units oh this unit here gives them extra attack and HP which is awesome so yeah, this is my little squad. Um, let's go take it for a test run. Well, I won't be taking it for a test run. I know how it works. <laughs> Been using it for a while now. Um, actually made a couple of changes to it. You know, uh, you know the little guy with the axe. I just put him in there, and um, guy with the bomb on his back. I just swapped him out for somebody else too um where i'm going now is to a live pvp battle uh, if you've never seen this game you kind of see it it's just better to watch somebody play play it or you know if you're interested in games like this just pick it up and start playing it yourself you'll kind of hang on or get the hang of it just like with anything you know whether it be a job or a movie you if you like it, if it's interesting, you, you know, you start to get into it and understand a lot more about it and everything. So, yeah, just waiting for a game to pick for somebody to, for me to beat on. And I'll beat on the best I can for your entertainment. Okay, Painbringer, Skyroller. Uh, what's going on right now is kind of like a tournament thing. Um, it's a division, all the maps don't quite look like this, you know, they try to change it up every now and then, but this is the map we got in that top row up there, it's, yeah, I stopped because he just dropped that unit up there, and as I was talking about it, um, yeah, this top row can be a very helpful and dangerous place at the same time. It's these little brown things, barricades, it won't let you switch lanes like I'm doing now. 
Other guys probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. Which I'm still trying to figure out. I don't want to hit this guy too hard yet. Let's just bring him down to a little bit. All right, unit right there is he's Yang from uh, Final Fantasy IV. You know, and he has this a unique ability for a scout because scouts are usually low damage, low HP, but they hit you twice, you know, per turn. You know, and this little crazy guy can make himself gain 4 HP if he gets dipped low enough on a hit. So, there I just dropped my first limb. And I'm gonna try to beef her up and kill Yang. Oh yeah, Yang's dead. So let me switch her down here to hit that unit, cause that unit right there is a buff unit. And I don't want her playing anything or a pain bringer playing anything behind her, you know, because they're just going to come out with buffed up stats. Huh. Interesting. He's probably going to play something to give her a little bit of attack so he, she can at least kill the defender. No. Hmm. I am oddly confused right now. Ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I like to hum the theme song to this. It's, I love the music of this game. Um, let's go ahead and drop my other Lynn. And remember how I was saying about this unit, how it can direct damage. As you can see, as a pick lane, it highlights it. Everybody in red gets popped. Unfortunately, right now, I can only hit one person, and I choose to hit her. That's once that one is dead, that should be the last. Of her, at least. Well, probably won't be the last of his buff up units, but it'll be the last of her. So, and I just kept myself from getting beat up by a scout or a free hits from a scout and saved my Lynn from dying so she can get some more hits in. Like I said, the deck is very focused around. Lynn, which would be these two right here. You know, it's all about their preservation. Um, right now, I'm gonna slide her up. Block her advance. She has protection. Oh, come on. She's still stunned. Dang it. So what I'll do is I'll drop this fire, give him a little bit of health, give him protection, so I don't get hit. Then I'll slide him out here to kill these priests, because he he's only going to be able to hit one, but trust me, he will kill both of them. Lovely, I love it. I love it. Now that scout has to hit her twice, which saves me from taking six damage, and my land is back to normal. Fortunately, she's the last land I have left. <laughs> which makes me very sad. I want to cry. And this guy has eight mana. I have some very well protected units, so I'm kind of worried about what he's going to play. Uh, mana's the little orbs around the little player portraits. In the upper left hand and right hand corner, you get a maximum of 10. Start off with 2. 
you know, then gain two every turn for the first four turns. You know, every unit has a mana cost, like you see this little girl down here, she costs two mana. A little gun next to that too means she's a gunner. Huh? What? No way. Okay, I'm gonna go in and smack this guy really, really hard. Now it sounds like I'm trying to audition for a porno right now. As a matter of fact, I'm not gonna smack him really, really hard. This girly up here is still a threat. Of, for some reason, I don't manage to kill her. At least that lane is still protected. I get a couple of hits in, and we're good to go. Uh, this person gave up not playing anything they basically gave up hate it when they do that but it happens people know when they're overmatched or sometimes you just don't get the cards you need you know, like who knows he hasn't played every single unit he could have had a, a deck to counter everything I was trying to do you know but he just wasn't getting the cards for the situation that was at hand which happens to me a lot. I'm pretty sure it happens to everybody in this game. It's, just, it's like a card game. You know, you're playing poker, you're not gonna get royal flushes every hand. I mean, it's, unless you're cheating, it's just unlikely. You know, after every battle, they show you experience level ups. As you see, level 25 is the max level. As you see, there's a couple of guys that aren't quite there yet when I say I just put them in like I literally just put them in the squad but that's basically how the game goes uh, hope you enjoy the video and come back for more